and I just feel like right now he's putting so much pressure on me. Welcome back to my channel. So on my way home from work, I decided to stop by Marshall's because I wanted to get little bits and bobs here and there, like um some boots for the weather and like a backpack. So I'm gonna do a quick little Marshall's haul to show you guys some of the things that I ended up picking up in Marshall's. Hi guys, so it's way, way later. Evening time, 5.52. I had said that I was gonna come home and sleep. That didn't happen and here's why. I decided to go to Marshall's because I was tired of bringing my, I wanted to get a backpack. And so I got this one at Marshall's and I honestly really, really love it, especially the fact that I could carry it like this because one of the problems that I'm having, and I've already unpacked my bag into this, one of the problems that I'm having is with the jackets and everything, my regular pocketbook just keeps falling down when I have it on. However, being able to put this on by the two straps makes it a lot easier and in the mornings when I'm walking out the block in the cold, I don't have to keep holding on to the strap to like hold it onto my shoulder. It's a little ghetto. So, love that. And then I bought these boots because it's snowing and we're gonna need something for the snow. I added another insole instead of this but I thought this would be absolutely perfect for the snow because currently I just have sneakers and that isn't really working out right now. Like right now, today when I was coming home, there's so much residual snow on these sides of the road and so many huge puddles that I had to be hop skipping and jumping over because my sneakers was just not it. And if you know anything about Uggs at all, you know that Uggs are not for the snow. Uggs are to look cute when the time is cold, but when it's not snowing or not raining because they do get wet. Even when you spray the little, um, what is that thing called? Like the suede saver or whatever over it. As time progresses, it's still like if you're in the rain or the snow for an extended period, it still gets wet. So that wouldn't have worked out. And I bought this. I ended up paying $30 for this. So love that for me. They look like the Dot Martens, but they're not exactly the Dot Martens. They're a lot softer. And I remember one of my friends had the Dot Martin. And when I tried Taze on, it was so hard. I did not like it. There's a chance that it's because it wasn't exactly my size or I guess when it comes to boots you really have to like size up a little bit. This one is an eight and a half and here's the thing with me. I wear eight and a half and nine sometimes. Nine if there is not enough width in the shoe or like not enough room in it because I wear wide width and um, eight and a half if there is if it's like wide width and this one I was able wide or medium width and this one I was able to get it in um eight and a half and it's very comfortable and I feel like I still have room in it so love that for me so maybe this one they just made it a little bit bigger but I'm very excited to wear this and I'm going to try wearing it tomorrow for the very first time and see how that works out for me my scrubs covers it really really nicely and I'll insert a clip here so you guys can see when I had tried it on instead of the store because I did want to try it on and what's crazy is when I went to the register I was gonna leave it because I'm just like um I don't know if this is what I need, but I was just like, you know what? It's $30, it's comfortable. I really, really like it, so I'm gonna get it. So I just told the girl, okay, whatever, put it on. And because my goddaughter is gonna be here in no time, and I absolutely cannot help my goddamn self, and I feel like these are a really good deal, I got her two little things. So I got her this, um, this little, these are like comfort, um, what is this? I don't even know what this is. But I watch a lot of moms on YouTube and I always see them get this for the babies. You know, obviously it's like a little toy, both of them are. This one, you could put on like the crib or like, you know, if she's lounging or whatever, just something to play with or whatever. And one of them makes noise. I'm not sure which one does or if it's both of them. But, oh happens to be the both of them so that should be entertaining but you know how babies have those little toys that they never leave anywhere this reminds me of that and what's crazy is I think I already bought her one of this and already gave it to her mom so no and then you know we have this one and this is a little is this a, is this an elephant yes it's definitely an elephant 
So I thought this was really, really cute. And I only paid $7.99 for this at Marshalls. And then I bought her this little swaddle um, blanket. And this one is very fuzzy because her mom and I were talking and I was telling her that um, I feel like she's definitely going to need these fuzzy ones because she's going to be born in the winter time. So it's going to be dumb cold. And this was also $7.99. So this is amazing and it wasn't too expensive. And I'm pretty sure this is going to keep her warm. But that is pretty much all I bought at Marshall's. And I spent 80 something dollars, which I'm not mad at because things that I bought, I needed. I needed the boots because the sneakers were not going to work. And the only other thing I have is my Uggs. And obviously that's not going to work either. And we, it's winter time. We're supposed to be getting more rain. We're supposed to be getting more snow. So, you know, and I just added like another insole to it. I think I'm going to end up buying one of the Dr. Scholl's insoles to put inside of there. But for right now, the one that I have in there is comfortable. So I need to see when I wear it tomorrow, how I feel after wearing it for like an eight hour shift. So that's that. But I'm very excited about the bag and everything holds in there comfortably. And I could still like fit my lunch dish on the top and hopefully my water bottle because that is important, you know? But on yeah. Yeah, yep. If that, and that's if I'm taking lunch with me. I have my umbrella and everything that was in my other bag to begin with. So it has these little straps where you could just bring it like this or you could just put it on. I'm gonna put it on and I'm very excited to wear this tomorrow when I go to work. I'm not gonna take my wig off today so I put this little headband thing around it and I'm gonna wrap it up in my bonnet when I'm ready to go to my bed and stuff. I just ate dinner. I ate some curry chicken some baked sweet potato and like a little bit of rice haven't worked out in a couple of days but the judgment free zone and it's crazy because even today i found a workout on instagram this girl that i recently started following on instagram she was doing a little workout on her instagram and i sent one to myself and <laughs> haven't done it however it is six o'clock right now there's still time might still be able to do it the weirdest thing was happening just now too i came home and i was turning the pipe on in the shower and no water was coming out of it very weird and then I turned the sink on no water was coming out either and then I turned the the face basin on no water was coming out and then I turned the kitchen sink on and water came out so I don't know if it's just like the hot water isn't working or I don't know what it is but it's just the cold tap that turned on inside of the bathroom so I need to figure that out because I'm gonna need to shower tonight and it's no way in 20 degree weather I can bathe in cold water. In the summer months, I would have, because being Jamaican, I'm used to that, but <sighs> baby, not in this weather. We can't do that. But um, yeah, that's really all I had going on for today. Oh, today at work, I had, um, I had a clinical. So I brought my resident to her radiology appointment, and then I, Went back to the facility and just stayed there all day. And when I went back, the supervisor was telling me that I had the option to either go home or stay. And I'm just like, I'm already there. Like, I might as well stay. And I really didn't do anything today more than just sitting beside a resident who likes to get up and walk around. And she's not supposed to be doing that. So it was a pretty chill day at work today. Can't really complain, especially like the first day coming off of my day off. So love that for me. Tomorrow, the real work starts. But tomorrow is also very chill anyways because it is the weekend and i love working the weekends at this job if i haven't said that before and my manager from a second job also called me and texted me and he was just like i need to know when you're available for next week and i'm like okay sure wednesday and he's like what about the following week and i just feel like right now he's putting so much pressure on me because last week or is that this week right now? I wasn't able to go any other days because I was pretty booked out. Which is so crazy because the clinical that I did today, I was supposed to do that yesterday. But because it snowed, cats, dogs, and all the other animals, I wasn't able to go. It was canceled until today. And so I ended up having two days off as opposed to the one, which was Wednesday, that I was supposed to have initially. But I just used the two days off and chill because he had already made the schedule and I just felt like it was snowing and I was not trying to do that. So... I just stayed home so next week I told him the day that I'm available so next week I'm gonna be working six days which I'm not really complaining about because I've said before when majority of my days are at the nursing home 
then I'm automatically just having better days because it's a shorter day and it's kind of stressful but not as stressful as standing for 10 long hours so um yeah but I feel like I've been super talkative in this entire clip ever since I picked up the camera so I think I'm going to wrap up this vlog here thank you guys so so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed my little Marshalls haul and I'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.